looks like older than Frankenstein's. Hey everybody, I'm Sailor Tortilla and today we're going to talk about this amazing, <laughs> that made a fart noise, the Sailor Pluto Figure Arts Zero. This one is modeled after her design in season three of Sailor Moon Crystal, because all the outers are crystal style, right? Um, she's really pretty. I did not get Neptune. I'm still working on that. But I got Pluto, so that's one step in the right direction, right? This is the bottom, super cool. I already cut the tape on the bottom, so I can open this up for you guys. Uh -huh. Okay, she is safely inside of this plastic. We have freed her. She's got plastic behind her and... Ooh, we got her time stick. That's not what it's called. Is she giving me the stink eye? Okay, how are we supposed to... Hand one. And two. Oh. Yeah, I guess it just... I guess it just sits there. All right, we're gonna take it and look at her up close. This is really nice. See that pearlized effect on her hair? Ah! It's really pretty. I know all the hours have this pearly kind of look to their uniform and their hair. Now Sailor Pluto's uniform here is very black. There's almost, you know, there's a hint of what color it you know, it always has those shades in the anime. It's like, is it green? This is super black. Gotta zoom away. So you can see your feet. Ah, oh, they're black and the bottom's black. Hold on. Sailor Tortilla gets it done. Yeah, you might want to use a sticky wax to hold her, her thing in place. The Garnet Raw. That's the name I was looking for. Let's just zoom into her feet. Feet. Where are my foot fetish people at? Oh, yes. This is nice. This is quite nice. I like her heels. Take her feet out of the stand. Well, that's nice if you want to display her in a different way. Maybe make your own stand. These stands are okay. They're pretty plain though. Her knees are blushing? Don't know how I feel about that. How's her pantsu game? Do she got a booty? <sighs> well, I'm glad she has underwear. It's not like the 90s toys that I had that were kind of bootleg and they did not. They didn't have underwear. <sighs> Wah! Her little time keys. They hover, which are really cool detail. It's like a soft plastic. See, it sits under her bow. And it's loose. That's cool. I like that they did that. You can see though, that it is right there between the arm and the body. It goes around the whole body of the figure. I wish I had more to say. This figure's just really nice. Just like the other ones. Nothing special. No surprises here. Placing this thing is just a matter of placing it in her hands. There's no science behind it. She's so cool. I put the silly white paper so you can see her feet. I think when I don't have a lot to say, it's just because it just looks good from here. The outer senshi in the figure arts zero line, and I've seen the other ones online, they're just, woo, uh, that's annoying. Bye. You can tell my YouTube is a very homegrown <laughs> thing here. I really gotta get better lighting and all these other things. I need help. She's so sexy.
And I can say that because she's over 18 in the show, canon. Even in civilian form, we all know she's been around since time itself. But she's also super legal. Man, that's creepy. Is this the kind of fan that I've turned out to be? Oh boy. All right. So, Sailor Pluto, short video. I like it. Um, do you have questions? Maybe, maybe I'll take questions in the comments. Um, short video. I think I know how to fix that. Fan mail! Move away. Move away. Just go over there. What would Pluto be without Chibi Usa anyway? Okay, so a little backstory on this exclusive glitter Chibi Usa is that my friend and fellow YouTuber, boom, 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 zoom in. Union Jack Gamer, who is based in the UK, sent me and see that's that's the special thing about this Pop Funko. That exclusive sticker is a little different. A little a lot right there. Different than our Barnes and Noble glitter edition Chibiusa in the US. So I struggled for a really long time to find this. Because I got all the other Pop Funkos. If you've been following my trials and tribulations on Instagram, you'd know I couldn't get glitter. Glitter. This is a light. I'm making her shine. That's how this works, right? Not only did he send this, he also sent British candy for me to eat. And a picture of a Sailor V collection. I'm going to read his letter that he sent along. Look at that, that's really awesome. By the way, do you see how British this is? It's called Jammy Dodgers. It's probably the most British thing I've heard in a long time. I'm gonna eat these, and I'm gonna tell you what I think about them. So, I'm gonna eat that, and that, and that. Let's start with bum, bum, bum. This is fun, I like taste testing. Remember the last time I did this? If you didn't, uh, <laughs> it's the Rapongi video, the Sailor Moon Museum video, and it is it's, it's really good. It's one of my favorite videos. Rainbow Drops. So, this looks like unicorn poop. Um, bum, bum, bum. Maybe I should show up on camera. Everyone's like, oh my god, Age is still alive. Holy crap. So, I get to eat candy in this video. You thought this was just a Sailor Pluto video, but you were wrong. You think this would be like hella crunchy and it starts off crunchy but it like melts in your mouth? Rainbow drops. I'm gonna call this unicorn poop and ask burrito mask to try it. Babe? Yeah. You want to try some candy? Sure. Try this. It's like not what you expect. It's like sugar on cardboard. <laughs> sugar on cardboard. I'm really psyched about Jammy Dodgers. I have been, like, you guys have no idea. Like, ever since this box came in, like, I go to work and I tell people, like, there's a British candy and it's called Jammy Dodgers. And I don't know what it is, but I want to. So, here we go. I love fan mail. Like, this is super nice. <laughs> like, I mean, you're taking advantage of it, but like, dude, seriously, this dude is super cool. You gotta check out his YouTube. He sent me Jammy Dodgers. How do you say that with a British accent? Jammy Dodgers? <laughs> he likes some Jammy Dodgers. <laughs> so it's like I'm asking them to do a sexual favor. They're like thin. Not what I expected. What's it look like? Jammy Dodgers. They're in twos and they got like, oh, it's a little, it fits with Chibi Usa. It's perfect. It's chewy. Mm, what is that, raspberry? No added nasties. Full of jammy mischief. I feel like I'm full of jammy mischief. This lives up to all the hype of me telling people who don't care what this is. Mr. Burrito. That's not really what he sounds like, I promise. This friend's 
will be the avatar for Burrito Mask, who doesn't appear on camera. Why did you put googly eyes on this? So, how are the Jammy Dodgers? They dodge good. They dodge. They dodge. What is And finally, see, these look really gourmet. Fox is lovingly baked since 1853. It's like older than Frankenstein. What year was Frankenstein written? I don't know. You're my minion now. This is what my videos have turned into, everybody. By the way, I'm making a podcast. And apparently it's called Sailor Tortilla Says, like Sailor Moon says. 1818. 1818? I was wrong. Frankenstein is older than these. Ooh. Ooh, it has a cream. Hold on. It looks like a... You know cameos? They're like Oreos, but not... It looks like that. Yo, if Sunami Treats can be like a new thing for fan mail, that would be amazing. Ooh. Oh, it, it is like a biscuit. It just falls apart in your mouth. Oh my god. Oh my god, baby, you have to try this. I already bit this one. I'll give him the bitten one. This is like my favorite thing now. I got a box. Anyway. <laughs> good. Thanks a million. <clears throat> hey Age, hope this parcel has made its way to the USA safe and sound. I know you were after this fun co pop for a while and I'm glad I was finally able to help you find it. I love all your videos you put out. Your personality is super electric and always makes me smile, especially when you do impressions of Luna. I believe that's like when I do the demonic Luna that's like, <laughs> I'm gonna steal your children. I always enjoy your unboxing of collectibles and super envious of your collection room. It looks so cool on camera. My collection room is coming along though my Sailor V collection is just limited to one shelf above the door. Photo enclosed. I remember watching your Sailor V figure arts unboxing for months thinking, I need to buy this. I need to. As mentioned over Facebook, I thought I'd send you some treats from the UK. I hope you like them, though be warned, they're a lot sweeter than what America has to offer. Also enclosed is my business card. These are the new design and you're the first one I've been able to give one to. So I hope you don't mind being the guinea pig. Anyway, take care and keep up with the videos, especially anything to do with my girl Sailor B. All the best. Union Jack Hammer. P.S. If you ever find yourself coming to the UK, please let me know as I'd love to meet you in person. So would I. You have to check out his YouTube channel. It is super cool. He has like the most Pop Funkos I think I've probably ever seen one person own. Guys, let me know your struggle of collecting these. The hardest thing to get was probably this, which as you can see, I couldn't even get. I had an awesome person send it to me. And the Hot Topic, Sailor Moon, Family, Neo Queen Serenity, Prince Endymion, and Small Lady Princess, Small Princess Lady, Little Small Princess Chibi Usa Lady. That was really hard to get. Yeah, McNaughton, go. They're so cool. Um, if you want me to do a video about those, I will. If not, my next video is going to be a Chibi Usa special because Chibi Usa DX. It's amazing, and I'm going to talk about it next. Have you had this before?